one is with a VIP down on the field. Jennifer Heppel, who is the commissioner of the Patriot League. Here's John. She certainly is that, Gary. Uh, Jennifer Heppel, the, uh, in her second year now as the commissioner of the Patriot League. And uh, Jen, you come to us from the Big Ten. We'll develop that more in a moment. But, you know, you've gone through the process, the interview and so forth. You accepted the position. And uh, those of us who have been around the league for a long time, we kind of come to expect that there are some core values about you that align well with the Patriot League. What role did that play in you accepting the position? Um, well, you know, I look back. I started my college athletics career about 25 years ago and clearly remember in the Northeast when the Patriot League was founded and looking at the Patriot League and thinking that is what a Division One conference should look like. Uh, so it is, it's a league I've looked to my entire career as, uh, as a goal and I feel so fortunate that here I am, but it's that, it's that competition at the highest level, um, academics, um, athletics within Division One, um, and the best universities in the country. Yeah, absolutely, uh, and I, again, I've been here for a long, long time at Lafayette, and it, it is a good place to work. You've done, your, your resume is broad. You've done a little bit of everything. Uh, you've worked on competition committees, conference championship committees, you've done compliance. How do uh, how does what you've done in the past, how do you feel that's prepared you uh, for sitting in the big, the big chair? I like that you say broad. Some people would say scattered, random. <laughs> no, it really has. I've, uh, I've, I've had the opportunity to work on campuses, conference offices, the national office, and with each of those positions has come different responsibilities. Um, that's given me, hopefully, what I consider a, a nice, well-rounded experience that I can um, always attempt to put myself in the other person's chair um, and understand how they're looking at an issue. Well, obviously, those of us who uh, follow uh, college athletics know that the Big Ten does things at a very different level, arguably, certainly in, in basketball and football, uh, uh, an enormous conference. Uh, uh, but uh, what are some of the similarities uh, in terms of your experience with the Big Ten and maybe some of the differences and how do you approach those? You know, I would say the difference is the, is the spotlight. Um, but the similarities are, I think, greater. Um, from a student athlete perspective, certainly, the student athletes in both conferences are working equally as hard, and you see that across all sports. You know, the, the football in the Big Ten might get the headlines, but the field hockey player in the Big Ten is working just as hard as the football player, and that is exactly the same in the Patriot League. You know, uh, and, and uh, I have to uh, tell you that uh, uh, as a Lafayette person, uh, when you were with the Big East Conference, I'm a former basketball guy, and we have a little common ground here uh, uh, with Tom O'Jackson, who was the associate commissioner, and I, had to I have to believe that when you were at Georgetown in the Big East, you were on the conference championship committee. Talk to us a little bit about that experience. <laughs> well, you know, the Big East is is a great conference and I grew up around the Washington DC area so I grew up as a college basketball Georgetown Big East fan my time with Tom actually um, I won't tell any stories but goes back to uh, when I was an ECAC intern and Tom was an ECAC intern a few years before me but uh, he's been a friend and a mentor my entire career and he's just a wonderful wonderful man well you're absolutely preaching to the choir because those of us at Lafayette who've known Tom for a long long time he never forgets his friends he never forgets where he came from you know uh, Jennifer one other thing I want to touch on um, uh, the Patriot League uh, is committed to excellence and growth and anytime you uh, uh, you want to do those things you want to achieve excellence you want to grow uh, that uh, presents challenges and opportunities talk about uh, what you see near term and long term uh, the impact you can make uh, putting your stamp on this league? I, you know, I look at, uh, at the growth. It's really the maintaining and growing our standard of excellence. Um, and that's something that everybody has a hand in. Um, and that's, you know, we think about that every day. And that, that's our goal, is to maintain the standard of excellence that's been created over the last 25 years. And uh, you're uh, uh, in the, the Lehigh Valley now. Uh, give us your impressions about the valley, and have you been here uh, before to spend much time? I had never been to the Lehigh Valley before I accepted the job a year ago, um, and I, it's wonderful to be back on the East Coast. I love seeing this time of year, especially with the leaves and the, the trees changing and the hills, and I'm just, it's a, it's a great place to be. I couldn't be happier. When you were with the Big Ten, now where, where were the headquarters located? Chicago. Okay. 
So, so well, cool. I'm an East Coast girl, so you know, <laughs> Chicago's a great city, but I'm really enjoying being back on the East Coast. Well, Wesleyan University, which is your alma mater, obviously a very good school. A lot of similarities with Lafayette in terms of the academic program. Jennifer, congratulations Thank on you so uh, much. you're not a you're not a newbie anymore. You're in your second year, but we wish you all Pressure's the luck. On. Pressure's on now. <laughs> <laughs> the honeymoon's over. Right. Jennifer, good luck with everything. Thank Thanks you. for sharing time with us here uh, on the on the broadcast. Right.